Prepare for a wild ride through love's quirkiest twists in Good Luck Chuck. Charlie Logan, the ultimate good luck charm or curse. Find out as he navigates romance, laughter, and the supernatural. Ready? Grab your popcorn and let the enchantment begin. In 1985, in a suburban home in San Diego, during a game of spin the bottle or seven minutes in heaven at a party, a 10-year-old boy named Charlie Chuck Logan declined the romantic advances of a goth girl named Anisha Carpenter. In response, she cast a spell on him, proclaiming that after being with him, any future romantic partner would remain loyal to the next one. In the present, Chuck is a prosperous dentist who manages his practice, located right across from his close friend, Stu's Plastic Surgery Clinic. While engaged in an intimate moment with his girlfriend, Carol, Chuck struggles to express his love for her, leading to an immediate breakup between them. Chuck and Stu attend the wedding of one of Chuck's former girlfriends, Katie. During the wedding reception, Katie's heartfelt toast, where she credits Chuck as her lucky charm, highlights the irony of his situation. Chuck's reputation as a good luck charm for women has become well known, and it sparks the curiosity of the women seated at his table. They start to view Chuck as an attractive and intriguing prospect, believing that being with him could bring them good fortune in finding their ideal partners. As Chuck watches Cam Wexler, the beautiful and charming penguin scientist, he becomes particularly enamored. Cam's endearing clumsiness and friendly demeanor set her apart from the other women, making her even more intriguing to Chuck. This moment sparks a genuine connection between Chuck and Cam as he begins to see her as more than just another potential romantic conquest. The following day, Chuck's dental office is bustling with a multitude of women seeking his services. Puzzled by the sudden surge in female patients, Chuck turns to his friend Stu and inquires if there's anything noticeably different about him. To their astonishment, they discover that Carol, Chuck's former girlfriend, is now engaged to another man indirectly attributing her newfound happiness to Chuck's supposed lucky charm effect. Later that evening, as Chuck prepares for a date, his companion expresses a strong desire to be intimate with him, believing that Chuck's reputed charm will bring her luck and love. However, their evening takes an unexpected turn when Chuck receives an urgent call from Cam. She has encountered a mishap at the penguin exhibit where she works and accidentally chipped her tooth, requiring immediate dental assistance. Chuck skillfully repairs Cam's chipped tooth, but instead of seeking monetary compensation for his dental services, he extends an invitation for dinner to her. However, Cam politely declines his offer, explaining that she's not yet in the right emotional place for romantic involvement. Disappointed but understanding, Chuck leaves the situation. Upon returning home, Chuck is surprised when his receptionist, Reba, makes advances toward him, hoping that he will serve as her lucky charm in love. Stu urges Chuck to embrace a lifestyle of casual, commitment-free encounters, and Chuck reluctantly follows his advice. Nevertheless, his heart still lingers with feelings for Cam, and he eventually musters the courage to ask her out. As Chuck and Cam's relationship deepens, they begin to spend more quality time together, sharing intimate moments and developing a strong emotional bond. Chuck finds himself falling in love with Cam, and she reciprocates his feelings. They both start envisioning a future together, and it becomes clear that Chuck is willing to break away from his old patterns and embrace a more meaningful, committed relationship. However, Chuck's contentment is disrupted when Stu contacts him and discloses a startling revelation. Every woman Chuck has been with has gone on to marry someone else. Overwhelmed by this peculiar pattern, Chuck becomes apprehensive and decides to abruptly end his relationship with Cam, leaving her confused and heartbroken. Stu and Chuck decide to put the supposed curse to the test by involving Eleanor, a woman they perceive as unattractive and significantly overweight. They notice that Eleanor is currently not in a relationship, so Chuck engages in an intimate encounter with her, after which he persuades Stu to ask her out. Simultaneously, Chuck uses the pretext of being unwell to maintain a long-distance relationship with Cam, communicating with her through phone calls and video chats. As Stu eventually confirms that he has gone out with Eleanor, but has not experienced any miraculous romantic attraction, Chuck begins to realize the limitations and complexities of the curse. Fearing that he might have made a mistake by breaking things off with Cam, Chuck rushes to her location, and the two of them reconnect on a more intimate level. You know what I mean. 
following morning, Chuck is taken aback when he witnesses Eleanor joyfully sharing a kiss with another man on television. Feeling frustrated and betrayed, Chuck confronts Stu and Stu admits to faking the date with Eleanor, who confesses that he merely pretended to ask Eleanor out as part of their experiment. Chuck's anxiety intensifies as he worries that Cam might now find her true love elsewhere due to the curse. In his desperation, fearing that he may lose her due to the curse, he becomes increasingly desperate to ensure she doesn't meet her true love elsewhere. Chuck's desperation manifests in a series of annoying and clingy behaviors, which only serve to push Cam further away. Cam, unable to tolerate Chuck's suffocating actions any longer, eventually decides to end their relationship. This moment is emotionally charged and heart-wrenching for both Chuck and Cam. Chuck's efforts to defy the curse driven by his love for Cam ultimately lead to the very outcome he feared the most, losing her. His efforts backfire and Cam eventually decides to end their relationship due to the mounting frustration caused by Chuck's actions. During a conversation with Reba, Chuck's attention is suddenly captivated by a spinning bottle on the ground triggering memories of the hex placed on him during his childhood. This prompts Chuck and Stu to embark on a quest to find Anisha's residence. Chuck confronts Anisha, earnestly requesting her to lift the curse that has haunted his romantic life. However, Anisha offers a surprising perspective. She insists that the curse was never genuinely real and that her feelings for Chuck back then were merely a fleeting childhood crush. In a surprising twist, she encourages Chuck to release his grip on the woman he's currently interested in if his love for her is sincere, implying that love should not be bound by superstitions or past events. Chuck takes the initiative to orchestrate a meeting between Cam and Howard Blaine, the esteemed penguin expert whom she deeply admires. However, Chuck receives unexpected news from Stu and his unusual fiance, Laura, who happens to have three breasts. They inform him that Cam is embarking on a journey to Antarctica with Howard. Filled with a sense of urgency and desperation, Chuck rushes to intercept Cam before her departure. He pleads with her not to go, expressing his feelings. In response, Cam clarifies that her trip to Antarctica is a temporary one and reassures Chuck that she will return on Wednesday. She also explains that she will be traveling with both Howard and his wife, alleviating any concerns Chuck may have about the nature of the trip. Chuck leaves Cam a symbolic gift, a ring box containing a pebble, which holds sentimental significance stemming from a prior conversation about penguins, but she quickly calls out to him, leading to a heartfelt reunion and a passionate kiss. Meanwhile, Anisha, who has retained an old childhood keepsake box associated with occult practices, takes out a pin from a voodoo doll resembling Chuck. Fast forward a year later, Chuck and Cam find themselves in Antarctica gazing at the breathtaking southern lights while being surrounded by a colony of penguins, marking a beautiful moment in their shared journey together. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more. Your support means everything. Keep exploring, and we'll see you next time.